Hey guys, um, for this video, truth is about a half an hour ago as I'm filming this, I was looking through some of my older videos j just to see out of my own personal curiosity just how many videos I have made since this past summer. And I noticed my 2018 CFL uniform video where I talked about what was known and what was not known so far at the time. And not too long after I made that video, all of a sudden, the news was broke that Adidas and the CFL were ending their contract after this past 2018 CFL season was over. Now, if you saw that video, or if, or if for anyone who's either forgotten or not or never saw that video, I'm just going to quickly summarize something that I said in that video. And it was about the fact that I honestly found it really odd that with Adidas being into their third season as the CFL's jersey and apparel supplier, that we had not even seen a single new design from Adidas yet. So all of a sudden, I, was, I, I found that really odd, and then all of a sudden, not too long later, myself and I'm sure other people out there got their answer as to why. Because the CFL and Adidas decided that they were not going to um, be in their contract after the 2018 season ended. So what ended up happening was, was that the CFL, of course, had to find a new jersey and apparel supplier, eh? So all of a sudden, news was broken not too long, or sometime I believe in around September, if I'm remembering correctly, that the CFL signed a jersey apparel contract with a company called New Era. And New Era has never made sports uniforms before, according to what I know. All they've ever made is hats and some apparel, such as t-shirts and hoodies and jackets. That's it. So... Um, with this new company coming in and starting a quote-unquote new era, no pun intended, in the Canadian Football League, it's going to be really interesting to see what the uniforms end up looking like because new era has never made jerseys before, or uniforms for that matter, as far as I know. So this is definitely a new era for them and for the CFL. No pun intended, literally. <laughs> um but also, when I, when I was looking through that, something else happened in about a half an hour ago when I was looking through and saw that video. Um, but that was a light bulb, or that was a situation where a light bulb went off in my head because I realized that all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I just remembered the Montreal Alouettes here are not only unveiling a new pair of uniforms for next season, but they're also unveiling a brand new logo. They've done a total identity rebrand for next season and that's going to be unveiled on I believe February 3rd so that's less than a month away from this video as I'm filming this right now because as you can see here it is okay pardon the quality of my camera but it is January 8th 2019 as I'm filming this eh so with the Montreal Alouettes unveiling a brand new identity and not only that not only are the Alouettes unveiling brand new uniforms and a new logo but also with the fact that New Era is taking over the jersey and apparel contract from Adidas for the CFL starting this year in 2019. We're going to end up seeing the entire CFL uniforms unveiled by New Era now that they're making the uniforms instead of Adidas. So I decided, okay, why don't I sit down and make this video to talk about what we know so far and what we don't know so far for the upcoming 2019 Canadian Football League season. Now, by the way, speaking of the Alouettes, I believe, um, I know that sportslogos.net posted about their logo. I can't remember if their new logo was, when they talked about it there, if it was a leak at the time or it was unveiled. I think it was leaked. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, it's on sportslogos.net. But the thing is, I'm not going to talk about the new logo until it's officially unveiled. And as for the uniforms, though, they've are, the Alouettes have already shared a sneak peek of what those are going to look like. So I'm actually going to show you a photo of, the, of a teaser photo that has been posted by the Alouettes in recent months for you guys to see before I end this video. So speaking of the Montreal Alouettes, I'm going to go back to last season as well. Because with last season, the only unique little 
quirk in terms of CFL uniforms came from the Alouettes because from the beginning of the CFL season last June, the Alouettes for every month of the season decided to wear a different helmet from their past. Where in June they wore their original um, or their old, old, old uniform helmet with the red horns on it. Which personally, I love that helmet. That one is that one is an awesome helmet, and I wish the Alouettes would at some point bring that old 40s, 50s red throwback jersey back again for a few games like they did a long time ago with one of their um, CFL retro weeks. And I wish the CFL would bring those back. I loved those myself, eh? But um, then after June, in July, they unveiled... They then had their another old logo after the horns where it was looked like a small bird with a beak. That's what it was. And then they unveiled, and then the next month they wore just a single colored red Delta logo from the Alouette's old uniforms from the late 70s all the way through to the early 1980s. Then after that, they just wore their logo, their regular logo just in red. No color, no nothing. And in fact, before the season started, they had this promotion where it was about earning your wings. And the Montreal Alouettes throughout the preseason just wore plank or blank white helmets. That was it. Then, not only that, but for their alternate gray uniform that they've had since about 2014... The Alouettes didn't even wear their regular alternate helmet with that, which is like half red and half navy blue, eh? For their all gray alternate uniform, they just wore plain white helmets with no logos on them at all. So, and according to a rumor that I've heard, actually the Alouettes were trying to get their new uniforms unveiled by the end of this past season, but due to the Adidas deal ending... The Alouettes aren't going to be unveiling them until a few weeks from now on February, I believe February 3rd. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Montreal has been really doing this unique promotion of wearing old helmets with their main uniforms up to the very end of last season, which was actually really cool. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea. And the fact that we didn't see any new uniforms from Adidas after three seasons, I thought to myself, you know... We saw their new uniforms in 2016, and then we saw nothing in 2017, and we most certainly saw nothing in 2018. So at least seeing the Owls do the Alouettes do something different with their helmets, I thought that was really cool. And now they're going to be unveiling new uniforms next month. So as for when New Era will be unveiling their CFL uniforms for all nine of the CFL's teams... Together, I don't know when that's happening. However, I am going to say this. Um, from what I have heard so far, it sounds like the Canadian Football League's other eight franchises will not be making any changes to their uniforms in time for next season. So far, that's just a rumor that I've heard myself, but I could be wrong. I mean, New Era could launch their new uniforms Possibly next month or, or sometime in March, maybe even April. And all of a sudden, I could be looking saying, wow, they've redesigned multiple teams. But as of January 8th, 2019, as I'm filming this video, I currently don't know. So, but yeah, so, so far, all I've heard is that the only team changing uniforms at all for next season is the Alouettes. And then after that, in 2020. That's probably when we're going to see the other eight CFL teams unveil new uniforms. Which, by the way, if you've seen my older CFL uniform since Adidas took over the CFL's jersey and apparel contract from Reebok back in 2016. Overall, I have not been a fan of the Adidas uniforms, period. Too many teams, in my opinion, had templated looks. Um, teams that had really, really great uniforms during the final years of Reebok... Like the like, sorry, the um, Thai Cats and the Alouettes, they really downgraded their uniforms, especially Hamilton. In my opinion, Toronto, they had the cutoff pant stripes, and so did the Eskimos. And I thought those were just 
absolutely stupid. And I really do hope that when New Era comes in next year, that even if they're not going to change the uniforms, they're at least going to make some small tweaks to them, like the pants on the Eskimos and the Argonauts jerseys where they're cut off three quarters of the way down the pants. And hopefully they're going to get rid of these hashtags on the pants of the Red Blacks uniforms and these big giant word marks on the sides of the pants too. I hate those guys. I'm sorry, but I think the word marks on pants suck. And I hope that New Era is going to launch a new era where we don't have that crap anymore. And hopefully it's going to be an era of much better looking uniforms than what we got in the few years that Adidas was in the Canadian Football League making their uniforms from the 2016 season up until this past 2018 season. So, but yeah, so basically right now, all I know is that the Alouettes are unveiling a new logo and uniforms for this coming 2019 season. I have heard that the rest of the CFL's teams are not going to make any changes until 2020 at the earliest. So to wrap up this video, I am going to do one more thing though. And just bear with me for a moment here, but I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek teaser pick that the Alouettes have posted of their new home jersey. So here it is, folks. Um, their helmets will be navy blue with a red face mask, and their home jersey is going to be navy blue with red stripe with a single thick red stripe on each shoulder and red numbers and white lettering on the back, and they have a Montreal word mark on the front that's in white too, by the way. So... In my opinion so far, this jersey is just too friggin' dark. I mean, they should have at least had white trim around the red numbers if they were going to go with red numbers on a dark jersey. I mean, I think it could work. I think the dark on dark, the red on navy works. I think it can work, but it needs white trim around the numbers in order to make them legible. I mean, because, you know, there's no way that they're going to have red names on the back. The lettering of the if the player names has to be in white for legibility, or else the announcers are not going to be able to read red names on a navy blue jersey. It's just not going to happen. So, so basically, it's going to be a relatively plain navy blue jersey with red numbers and white letters on the back for the player names and a white Montreal word mark on the front. But... To be quite honest, you guys, I just feel like there's not enough white on that uniform. There needs to be at least some white trim around the red numbers to make it work. And I'm already not a big lover of it. But speaking of Montreal and speaking of their new uniforms, ever since this Montreal Alouettes franchise was formed back in 1996, the Alouettes have basically kept their main home and away jerseys the same. They've made some tweaks to them over the past 20 two years, but they've never actually done a radical redesign of their uniforms until now. So as much as I'm not currently a big fan of what they're set to unveil, I am excited to see the Alouettes trying something new, and I'm actually really curious to see what these uniforms are going to look like. I mean, I'm really excited to actually see them, and if the Alouettes are unveiling their new uniforms next month, that's, in my opinion, a telltale sign that that's likely going to be when we see New Era reveal all of their new CFL uniforms for the entire Canadian Football League. So with that, you guys, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video for tonight. I thought I'd throw this one in because it's an interesting topic and I figured that there's been no real discussion on it yet and I thought it'd be interesting to do a video on it to... Um, since New Era is taking over the jersey and apparel contract from Adidas starting this year. So with that, you guys, that's a wrap for this video. And of course, as always, take care and as usual, bye for now.